Okay, hello guys. Um, if you have not checked out um, my first video about modeling, that basically does like a run through about Maya. Um, there are a couple of things that I kind of forgot to mention that I wanted to show you guys now. Um, up here, this is where you can basically just make super simple objects. So like sphere, cube, just click them and they will uh, basically just be put on your origin. I also thought that I would just super quickly go through um, the basics of these objects. So I didn't actually mention it in the first video. Um, I believe I, I mentioned the whole you hold down right click and then you can choose um, which uh, mode to kind of be in. So I'm just going to briefly just go through what each of those are. Basically, um, object mode is just your entire object. So as you can see, it's highlighted in green for me. Um, super simple. This is what you want to be in if you're like moving the entire object somewhere or scaling the entire object. Um, and then edge is basically any of these edges on the uh, cylinder here. And then face is any of these flat faces. And vertex is any of these vertices here. Um, we won't be using vertex face. Um, you probably can. I don't usually use it in my modeling. And then UVs will be doing a little bit later when we start um, unwrapping our objects for texturing. I also didn't mention how to move things to land on the floor. That's always something that really bugs me is that they don't place objects on the floor when they first put them in. So um, in order to kind of fix that, what you can do, if you go over here, poly cylinder one, that basically shows like the size of your thing. So we see that its height is two. Now up here, there's a little button up here that's X, Y, and Z. This basically will move your object. So if we click this, go to absolute transform, and then in the Y, it should be one, I believe, since our height is two. Yeah, so click one, just put in one at the uh, Y for an absolute transform, and it'll move your object to the ground. It's basically half of whatever your height is, usually, if you're putting in like a, a just basic object. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I generally move my objects is uh, just go ahead and move it up half of whatever your height is, but it lays on the ground. There's also a way where you can like move your, um, your pivot point and snap it to the, the um, vertices on the ground, the grid. But I don't really like doing that way because then you move the pivot point and that's not usually something you want to do when you're modeling. So um, I would just advise you to do the absolute transform. So what I also want to uh, do today is um, do our first little tutorial about an object that I think would be really cool for you guys if you haven't used Maya before. So um, you can go ahead and delete your cylinder. We're not going to use it. Um, but go ahead and put in a plane. It's so cute and small. You can make it bigger. I'm going to make mine bigger just so I can show you guys. I'm going to make it 10 by 10. There we go. A little bit nicer. So um, if you want to get rid of the ground, this like this grid, go ahead and click this button up here and it'll get rid of it. Um, I find it useful to model with, but you do not need to use it. Um, kind of totally up to you. Next, go into face mode and you're going to be selecting one of these faces. So just click it, use Q. Remember Q is the selection tool for Maya. And then you're going to do command E, which is extrude. So extrude basically like takes whatever you selected and removes it from your object. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be extruding this face in order to make a button. So go ahead, uh, do select a face, do control E and push it down like 0.05. Then go ahead and extrude it again and point down to maybe like 0.15. That's basically like the height of your button. So next what you're gonna do is you're gonna extrude it in. So like that's the offset feature is you're going in. So if you look at it moving, you can see the line going in to the mesh. See how the square is now more inside than it was before. And then extrude it. Okay, so next what you're wanting to do is extrude it and then take it down probably to like 0.15. Then extrude it, take it down maybe like 0.05 again, extrude it, offset it to, I would do maybe 
0.05 would be good. And then you're going to extrude it again. And now you're going to move it up. So do local translate Z up. Maybe like 0.5. Sure. And then go ahead and extrude it. Move it up a little bit. Maybe like 0.03. And then extrude it and offset it to give it a little edge. Maybe like that. And then when you click three, it's basically gonna make a little button for you. So when you click three, that's basically just doing subdivision surfaces. I think I mentioned that in the other video. Um, and so this kind of gives it a cool like looking edge to it. It, it circularizes your, um, your features basically. It's, it's really, really, it's a great tool. So that's basically um, kind of just what a cool button looks like. Um, yeah, this would be really useful if you were doing like a switch or like a game controller or, you know, anything like that. It's also the beginnings of teaching a, um, a hole in the ground. So that's super useful as well if you're making like a dice or a domino or something that, you know, it goes in. Um, so yeah, that's basically like a super simple um, hole. What you can do next is uh, turn off subdivision. So just click one. What you can do is whenever you're facing basically like a 90 degree, like you see how this is a 90 degree angle, two faces are coming directly to each other. What you can do is um, go to edge mode, click those edges, do shift so you get them all. And you want to go ahead and bevel them. Bevel is control B. Beveling kind of gives it like an edge. So what you usually want to do is you want to have three edges to any like 90 degree angles. So now you can see we've got like three edges down there, which is super useful. So if we press three again, now it looks a little bit cleaner. We can do the exact same thing for um, this if we wanted to. I kind of like the way that the circle is looking. But yeah, you can play with the bevel feature. Um, you can extrude it more if you think it should be extruded more. It's totally up to you. So this is just like the basics of things. Um, yeah, you can go through and, and do whatever you want to it. So feel free to explore that. Um, I just wanted to super quickly kind of show you like a basic um, thing that you can make that I thought was super fun when I first tried it. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for some other tutorials. I've got probably like 15 objects thought up of what I want to show you guys how to model. So stay tuned. And um, yeah, I also have a super long um, document. That's basically just me writing out all the instructions for these tutorials. So if you guys ever, you know, if, you, if you're more of a, a, a learner from, from reading things, let me know. Um, I, I totally will share the document with you because I think that knowledge is power and I think it's, you know, selfish of me to keep it all to myself. So let me know and um, I'll share it with you if you want. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll be posting more uh fun little videos like this soon. So um, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye guys.